If anything is unclear, don't hesitate to ask. We're here to help. These men are taking their contraception into their own hands with the help of some sewing machines. That's the aim of this workshop organized by a collective called Garcon. I wanted to stop endorsing the hormone-based contraception system that women are subjected to. It's something I really don't think is good for women's bodies. That's why I decided to do something else. That something else in this case is making your own testicle heating underwear. It's a simple principle. If the temperature of the testicles rises from 34 to 36 degrees Celsius, the production of sperm plummets. Men are no longer fertile when they reach less than one million gametes per deciliter of sperm. The special undergarment holds the testicles close to the body, thus warming them with body heat. You have to tailor them to each person's individual measurements. I'm making my first one today, so I need everyone's help. Thomas, on the other hand, isn't new to this. Before coming here, he first tried the hormonal method. It's a deep intramuscular injection in the buttocks. So it's not very practical if you have to do it yourself. You need to get the product, then inject it on the same day each week with the help of a health professional. That's why I started using the thermal method. But this method also has its drawbacks. It takes three months to work with the underwear worn 15 hours a day. Its effectiveness can be verified with a spermogram, a laboratory analysis that counts the number of sperm in the testicles. So it isn't uncomfortable for the testicles? No, it really isn't. What I like is that we can share information, you can find out how it's going for the others. If it's normal to have such and such feeling or discomfort, we can reassure each other that we're wearing it the right way and swap tips. It's an essential support network to make up for the lack of support from the medical world. When doctors decide to help, it will be much easier to get spermograms and make sure the results are properly read. At the moment, organizations lack the means to respond to all the demand, and so the medical community really has to inform itself on the subject. What a few doctors in France do offer, however, are vasectomies, an operation that involves cutting the vas deferens to block the sperm from getting through. Five times as many Frenchmen nowadays are having it compared to 10 years ago. Pierre Loïc is one of them. I wanted to have a vasectomy because I had two children and I didn't want any more. So I was looking for a 100% reliable form of contraception. In terms of permanent contraception, there's vasectomy or having your tubes tied. But the latter is very painful. It's an invasive operation. You have to take two weeks off work. This method of permanent contraception remains rare in France. 20% of British men have undergone the procedure compared to just 1% of French men. For Pierre Loïc, it's a step toward greater equality. Yes, the vasectomy is feminist. I realize that the fact that so few men do it is because many don't want to carry the mental load of contraception. The pill helped bring about the sexual revolution in the 1960s. I think the vasectomy must be a second sexual revolution, so that women are finally free to do what they want. Stéphane Jourdain and Guillaume Dourdain spent two years investigating male contraception. Their first question was why a male pill was still not on the market. The first reason is medical. When a man swallows testosterone, the liver destroys the molecule that could block the production of sperm. But social and political obstacles are what's preventing this medical challenge from being resolved. Pharmaceutical companies aren't motivated because they can't see a market for it, because men simply aren't interested, and there's never been any political impetus from either side. The authors believe that the available methods are so rarely used due to entrenched resistance in men's mindsets. You get the feeling that there are centuries, millennia of patriarchy behind it. Men seem to be willing to rethink the way that they seduce women. But when it comes to contraception, the reaction is absolutely not. Don't touch my testicles. They don't want to hear about all that. That's why we called it the last taboo. It's a taboo also rooted in false beliefs. 
Neither the erection nor the libido are in fact affected by these non-hormonal methods.